Hello, this is our next video in the series of videos regarding Bluetooth, where in this playlist we are concentrating on Bluetooth client. In the previous videos we Im implemented the Bluetooth client on the ESP32 device inside the ESP IDF environment and we used the Nimbly library in order to scan uh, different uh, Bluetooth servers. In this video, our purpose is to implement Bluetooth client on ESP32 device using standard Bluetooth libraries. And we want to perform the same uh, task as the previous video but instead BLE libraries will use Bluetooth libraries inside ESP IDF environment. For our abbreviation, when we talk about GET, we're talking about data, and we, we, when we talk about GAP, we're talking about control connections inside uh, Bluetooth. As always, we start with the expressive uh, documentation inside the Bluetooth page. What we actually did is went to this client example, which divided to two major parts. The first one is explanation of gut client example work workthrough when you have a pretty detailed explanation for how this file was built and so on. And here you have the example which includes like 500 lines. And what we do did here is basically took this example and simplified it as much as we can in order to enable only the scan functionality. The code is as always on the Sims IoT devices inside, inside repositories, inside the BLE client repository. And here we, you have a previous video which uh, regards to the NIMBELI, BLE NIMBELI. And now we're going to talk about the second one, the Bluetooth client, uh, this one. We copied this uh, to our editor. Um, initially, in order to run it, we have to define the menu config for the Bluetooth. So, the py menu config we should check that the component configuration Bluetooth here is Bluetooth on and we are using the Bluetooth droid and not the BLE like in the previous video here you see not this one we are using Bluetooth droid Okay, let's go out without saving. And now we can run it. Okay, and what we are expecting is a, the client inside our SP to scan uh, available uh, servers around, uh, around it and show us the names of the servers on the screen. Okay. After, after the file execution, we will go over the code and see how it was uh, implemented uh, in order to do it. Okay, let's see if he will find something else. Age 30 is uh, like a Bluetooth watch. I will move the antenna a little bit. Okay, it found our uh, uh, smartwatch, Sayomi smartwatch. Okay, let's stop for now. Uh, just to point out about program execution, here you have three stages. 
regarding the register of the gut gut tech, and and we will see it shortly register the gut event scan parameter set and, and start scan and then you you can see here the different uh, gap events okay so how, how this uh, code was uh, implemented the standard includes which you have here and please know that we are using esp bt and esp bt main instead nimbly in the previous video we define the different callback functions in order to uh, not use additional header file and make it simple um, here you see the definition of uh, structures for the uh, scan parameters and scan parameters definition here we have a structure definition which defines which kind of scan we will use we didn't change it from the original example uh, we are using the active scan uh, public addresses we allow all uh, all uh, servers we don't want to see duplicates and so on here we define the get the get the data structure for our gut instance and connect this structure to the structure which connects between the gun structure and the event handler those data structures now are connected to the event handler inside gut event handler we have only only one event that we are related to which is the scan event and uh, this uh, is our first first um, instance when they register the get event you can see here that this is started all since all uh, the program execution here you can see the gap callback function we, c we will be back to this shortly and the get callback call callback function callback function the uh, main application is a little bit similar to what we did in the uh, previous example but here the most important thing is that we are initiate, initializing two callback functions the gap callback function and the get callback function uh, the, the other things are pretty straightforward for initial initialization so on those are two main functions that i initialize so we can go back we have uh, the get callback function which initializes three parameters by by calling this function three parameters are involved uh, the client callback function events the interface type and the union which defines different parameters for the get so this callback function is worked in order to initialize the get uh, data in addition we also have a gap callback function which has a, which our last function and the gap callback function searches for different bluetooth connections and we have to enable here three events the first one is the scan uh, scan parameter set uh, data and you see here is the second event which was executed here scan parameter set then we have to start the scan and you see that we did this event we start the scan and after it we have the actual scan which is implemented here and you can see the log file in green all this log file which is the execution of this code here we are uh, taking the scan results and uh, show the scan data on the screen where we're only showing the name of the 
servers for simplicity. Okay, this was the simplest possible example for my view in order to scan uh, different servers using ESP32 and um, using standard Bluetooth libraries. Thank you.